welcome to my complete guide on how to manage and do a bush run guide. If you go to the farming skill and you click on it, at the top where it says everything, if you go to bushes, scroll all the way down, and at 99 farming, you are able to grow avocado bushes. At 105 farming, you are able to grow mango bushes. And at 111, you are able to grow lychee bushes. You will need the see that you will want to do I tend to do mango because it is needed for that new best in slot food for the primal course feast and such if you wish to get a lot of money you can use lychee seeds but remember you will need a hundred and eleven farming. The items you will need is a combat bracelet or the Vera Cloudstone teleport activated, a teleport to your house that is in Remington, or the Port Serum Lodestone, an attuned crystal teleport seed or access to the Prif Lodestone, a clock tower teleport scroll or if you have done the easy Arduin achievements, you will have access to the Kandarin Monastery. And lastly, a miscellanea teleport, a luck of the dwarfs, or a spirit tree planted in a any in the Entrana by the Kingdom of Miscellanea. Trina or something. Now before we start anything, you will need to make a wolf tangler pouch. To do this you need one pouch, one crimson charm, one wolf bone, one raw rabbit, and 203 spirit shards. You will also need 92 summoning to make them. Or you can just buy from Grand Exchange. At the moment, they're about 20 to 25k each. Make your way to the obelisk and make the pouch. Once you have made the pouch, if you hover over it, it will give a little tool tip on what it does. It grants an invisible plus 5 hunter boost and it gives double experience and yield while harvesting from all bush patches. This will in turn make you a lot more money and you'll be gathering so much more. First off, teleport with your combat bracelet or go to the Varrock lodestone go to the champions guild. From here you will see either an empty bush that you can rake or already you're planted such that you will be doing. Summon your pouch, activate green fingers aura, and click on it. What you can do is click on it faster and you will harvest slightly quicker. Next up will be Port Serum Lodestone, or if your house is in Remington, you can use a Teleport to House tablet to get there. From the Lodestone, go east, uh, go west. the house portal that you would have been brought to if you use the scroll and then it's just directly behind it. Harvest from the bush. Remember if you click
click on it quicker, you do harvest from it much faster. With your attuned crystal teleport seed, click on it and hit option 5 on your keyboard. It will go to Cryas. Once you have a little full inventory, you can either crush the fruit or use the fruit on the nearby elf or leprechaun that will note it. Next up, click on the clock tower teleport, which is 412 points, or if you have access to the Kandarin monastery, Kandarin teleport, click on it. And then harvest the bush directly west, directly east. and final one will be on the Kingdom of Miscellanea. You can either use the Teleport Scroll, which is currently 198 coins if you examine it, or what you can do is go to Grand Exchange or Arduin Farm. Go to the Spirit Tree right click and teleport if you are to hit option 7 it will immediately bring you to here if you do not have the spirit tree planted here just simply use the miscellaneous teleport tablet to scroll and it will bring you on the opposite side of the whole little island there, just go east. If you do have a spirit tree on Arduin Farm, if you have the Master Farmer hat, you're able to right click and go to the Manor Farm. That will in turn get you a little quicker way to go to a spirit tree. Once again, once you have full inventory, use the bush fruit on the tool leprechaun, and then just click on the bush. Lastly, if you are to crush it, you will notice I'm getting primal fruit pulp. You get a certain amount of fruit depending on your herbler level if you want to know click on the herbler skill where it says everything scroll all the way down to 112 herbler if you were to click on the little area where it says it it will tell you exactly what it says and it will improve your yield by plus two if you do not have 112 herbivore, if you have 102, it will increase your yield by plus 1. And lastly, if you have 90, you are able to make it, but it is the absolute lowest tier, and you will end up losing money, actually. Once you have the primal pulp, Again, this is if you have the lychee fruit instead of the mangoes, because the mangoes is used for the best in slot food. Once you have the primal fruit pulp, you will want to go to Taverly. the bridge and then trade the herb lore, which is Jadix. Trade him and you will want to buy the empty vials. 
he does sell a vial pack, six of them, buy them. You can right click the vial pack to open all immediately and you will notice I got 300. Now the, if you were to click on the primal fruit pulp, it will open an interface depending on how much pulp you got. You will need three vials per one pulp. Since I only have ten, I am able to only make three, which will be nine. Now these primal pulp can either be sold to Grand Exchange or for the new Power Burst potions. There is a Power Burst of vitality which doubles your health for six seconds a power burst of master stroke which should help your next submitting set by within 10 seconds the power burst of sorcery increases your runes per rune essence while crafting at a rune altar it will give you two times the extra runes the power burst of acceleration you will be able to instantly surge bladed dive repeatedly forever for the next six seconds. This can be very good for doing clues rolls, but it's only a six second window. Next up will be the power burst of feats. This is by far the worst power burst in my opinion and they it should be updated. What this does is the familiar special move it's it will cost zero special move points for 10 seconds the only way I can see this would be good is potentially for the unicorn stallion where you can just try to spam heal yourself for its special attack the healing aura scroll and lastly the power burst of overkill this one is unlike all the others which can be bought and sold in a grand exchange this one is player only. It is somewhat like an adrenaline potion, but it's different at the same time. It grants 40% adrenaline over 10 seconds. I mean, uh, over 6 seconds. You will gain 4% adrenaline repeatedly for 6 seconds, totaling up to 40 so what you can do is right before you have 100% adrenaline you can drink it Zerk or Swiftness or Sunshine and as you're in that little animation that you can't do any attack style you will be able to keep adre gaining adrenaline afterwards and while you're still using basics to build up to thresholds this does help a little quicker since you'll be getting extra Thank you all so much for watching this guide and hope you learned a thing or two on how to manage and do your bush run guides along with making the primal fruit pulp and the primal extract. Thank you all and enjoy the rest of your day.